Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Most likely you are watching this video to get a recipe um, using the Herbalife products. So thank you for watching. I hope these recipes help you. Um, subscribe, like, comment, let me know what other videos you want and I got you. Hey tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today I am making two different shakes that have been requested uh, for me to show on this channel. So we are going to start with the churro shake. And that is the measurements that I do um, when I do my shakes. A lot of people have asked that. I just fill my cup up with ice and then I do the water um, halfway. And I chop it up in the blender before adding product. So now I'm going to get my vanilla protein. And this shake order, it was requested for only one scoop of protein. So that is what we're putting in this shake. And then we are going to grab Formula One, and that is going to be Jose de Leche. And we will be putting two scoops of this flavor. Again, we're making the famous churro. I know a lot of people use different types of recipes for different things. So um, this is just what I've been doing. This is without any of the uh, flavoring powders. And also Herbalife did just launch the flavors. 95% um, <laughs> of it is out of stock. But just keep an eye on that so that you can get the enhancers for your shakes. Now I'm grabbing my chai tea and I'm going to use the small side of my teaspoon and add that right into the blender. And I'm going to get some cinnamon and I will sprinkle that into the blender too. If you like to work off of measurements, I would use the small side of the Herbalife spoon as well. But for this video, all I did was sprinkle it into the blender. And now I'm just going to blend everything up in the blender. And while all of that is blending, I will be grabbing my cinnamon again. And I will just be going around the cup. Now remember, the cup is wet from when I did my ice and water measurements. So when I sprinkle that cinnamon in there, the water that was left on the cup is grabbing that cinnamon and it's going to um, put that look on the cup and now i will get my caramel my sugar-free smucker's caramel my absolute favorite i am going to squeeze that directly into the blender that way it will kind of mix into the shake but it'll also show it on the cup so now i'm just going to blend or pour the shake right into the cup and as you can see on the bottom, you can see a little bit of the caramel and it just kind of fades off as you keep pouring. And I will top it off with my sugar-free whipped cream. This one I find it at Walmart. This one's one of my favorites. The fact that it's sugar-free, but the texture is also very um, thick. And then I'm going to sprinkle my cinnamon right on top of it. And there's a lot of clubs who use the actual cereal, the churro cereal um, made by, I think it's, it's the one that makes the cinnamon toast crunch. I used to do that, but now I have converted over to putting cinnamon on the top and then putting crushed graham crackers only just to lower um, that sugar that's added into the shakes. So I do the crushed graham cracker with cinnamon and people love it just as much as a topping as they would the churro cereal. And the shake still tastes like cinnamon and churro as well. So it just works out perfectly. And this is the end masterpiece of the churro shake that we make here at Brick's house. I hope you like this recipe and if you try it, tag me, comment below, let me know how you liked it. And 
again if you like this page and it's helping you if you can um, subscribe turn on notifications and share with your Herbalife family and now I am moving on to the birthday cake shake um I can't even count how many requests for the birthday cake shake now this one is made without there's different ways you can make the birthday cake shake and one of them is using the birthday cake skinny syrup and another one is using the birthday cake beverage enhancer that will be available at Herbalife right now. I believe it's sold out. Um, so this is just another way to make it without those enhancers. So I'm going to start with protein. And it is going to be two scoops of protein for this shake. But like I said, there's just so many different ways to make these shakes. This one is a good one. A lot of people like this recipe. And this is how I've been selling it in the club without those other two enhancers. Only because the skinny syrups have been sold out for birthday cake and also everything that went on with Abundant Life for the birthday cake. So just patiently waiting and this is what I've done in the meantime. So it was vanilla PDM and then it is one scoop of cookies and cream and then a scoop of french vanilla and once i get those in the blender i will be adding the sugar-free jello mixes and i believe that's how we get that different um taste for the birthday cake so i'm going to use two different kinds the first one is going to be cheesecake and since i'm using two different kinds I am going to use the opposite side of the Herbalife spoon. So as you can see, that's a, a whole tablespoon. The opposite side of it is a half of a tablespoon, if you didn't know. So I'm going to use the half a side, and then I'm going to put it in the blender. And then I'm also going to grab white chocolate and do a half of that flavor as well. And then once I get those two in there, I'm going to grab my sprinkles because this is a birthday cake shake. I'm going to use the half side of the teaspoon. So it's going to be very little. It's just to make, um, you know, like that sprinkle effect inside of the shake. Only because we'll be putting actual sprinkles on the cup. So you don't want to put it in the batter and on the cup too. So now I'm going to just, while that's blending, decorate my cup. I'm going to use my sugar-free whipped cream. Again, got it from Walmart. And then I'm going to grab my sprinkles and I'm going to line the sugar-free whip with sprinkles. And that's how I decorate the birthday cake shake. I'm, I know everyone does it different. This is just how I do it. There's no wrong or right way, but this is the Bricks House way. So I'm just, I sprinkle, you saw me sprinkle a little bit of sprinkles on the top of the blender just for the whole pouring effect. And I'm just going to pour this into the cup. See the texture? Nice and ice creamy. And all that is is just more ice, less water. And again, if this page has helped you any, please hit the like button, thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share it with your Herbalife family. I'll be sharing more recipes, and if there's anything that you want to see on the channel, just go ahead and comment below, let me know. But I hope this channel is helping you, and this is the birthday cake shake.